Hey squad, welcome back. Well, it's summertime again, and today I'm going to be creating for you a cool reggae vibe. You know I love my reggae, and I'm going to be cooking up a sweet rocker's groove. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos on creating reggae music using Logic Pro, then you really ought to check out my playlist with links above as well as in the description. Now, today I'll be building this groove using the new Logic Session Drummer. And of course, you can check out my videos that are specifically related to Logic Session Drummer, as well as the other videos I've done on the Logic Session players. But anyway, it's that time. So let's dive in. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be running at 76 BPM. And like I said, we're going to be focusing on the Logic Session Drummer. So let's insert an instance of the drummer. As I showed you before, we want to choose one of the songwriter drumming styles. And for this one, we're going to go for the Roots Songwriter, Create. So let's have a quick listen to what we've got so far. Absolutely no use to us whatsoever. Now, the preset I want right here is King's Mountain. This one right here. Okay, cool. Next thing we want to do is come over to Manual and we're going to create the groove that we're looking for. Now, unlike the one drop groove, which I've shown you in the past, check out this video on how you use Logic Pro to create that one drop groove. We're going to go for the rockers groove, which is pretty much a swinging rock groove. So what I'm going to do is insert my snares there and there. And in fact, I'm going to go for a two bars. So let's insert two more snares there. Okay. And in terms of my kicks, let's go for... On the first bar, we're going for first kick here and here, here. And let's have a listen. And then the next two bars is we're going for this. How about this? Okay, let's go back to the main. We're going to change the setting from cymbals to hi-hats. Let's go in here. We're taking out all of the ghost notes. And in terms of the hi-hat pattern, we're going to click here and we're going to go for this hi-hat groove number five. Let's go back to details and we're going to set this to closed right here. So we want the hi-hats um, to be closed. Cool. The next thing I'm going to do is adjust swing value and we're going to go all the way up to 60%. Now what I want to do is make some alterations to my drum kit. So at the moment we're on the roots kit right here. If I double click here, I'm going to select the kick and I'm going to change this to the retro rock kick. A much firmer kick, snare, I'm going to go for the Neo Soul snare. Okay. And I'm going to put maximum dampening on the snare. And on the kick, I'm going to dampen that all the way down as well. So it's a lot drier than before. Let's try this retro rock hat. Details. Now for dynamics, I want to keep the dynamics here at a 132. Uh, feel 1%, not too much. I don't want that to drift too much. And humanization, I'm going to bring that down to about 20%. because I want it fairly steady. I don't want it to drift too much. Right, cool. Let's bring these down just a touch. We can always adjust more later on. I want it real simple. Okay, great. Let's add the fill back in. Let's listen to this fill. Right, I don't like those toms. So once again, we're going to go back to our kit, click on the toms, and I'm going to go for the Neo Soul toms. Let's have a listen to this fill once again. Okay, we're getting there. So that's eight bars of drums. Let's add another eight. So we just hover over this section right here and we click there and we're going to get a repeat 
of this first eight, but with some slight variation. And that's the beauty of the logic drama. Each time you use this process to add a new section, it's going to look at the first eight bars, bring in a new eight bars, but create some variation as would a drummer. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is just bring in a bit of percussion right here. Let's switch the percussion on and I'm going to probably have a shaker. Let's have a listen to that. Let's do the same for this section right here. I may keep it, I might not, we'll see. Okay, that shaker's a little bit loud, so I want to uh, adjust the volume of the shaker. So if I press B, letter B on my keyboard, come down here to percussion, I can just pull down the percussion level like so. So I'm going to use this as my basic drum pattern for now. And on top of this, I'm going to add the rest of my instruments. I may come back and do some tweaking, but this is my starting point. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add is my piano chops. And I've just loaded up one of Logic's standard piano sounds. I've gone for the Steinway Grand Piano, which is under the piano section, Legacy Pianos. And it sounds like this. And the main two chords in my progression are simply G minor to F major. But I'm going to do a little variation. So let me record this progression and you'll hear what's going on. And that will be the foundation in terms of the harmonic progression on top of the drums. Okay, so before we move on to adding more in terms of guitars and bass, etc., you'll see on screen I've added some more percussion parts. I'm going to play this back and I'll show you exactly what I did, as well as how I'm going to beef up the drums to really get things moving in terms of the sound of the rhythm section. But before that, I just want to say a big thanks to all of you guys who are supporting me on Patreon. I'm really really grateful. It really makes a big difference. So if any of you guys want to jump in and support me, support this mission, support what I'm doing right here, head over to patreon.com forward slash MTTC and become a member. And right there, you'll be able to download this entire reggae project to be able to experiment and explore at your own leisure. Okay, so back to the rhythm section. What I've done here is I've added two additional drummer sections, selecting drummer and coming down to the percussion section. And for both of these percussion sections, I've opened up the sound library over here and I've chosen coffee shop for both of these. On the top one just here, let's solo that. I've got everything else muted besides these two instruments just here. And on the second one, let's bring that in. We've got this bottom row going. Okay, this is just to add more in terms of the rhythm section. And for this second percussion section, the swing value is set to 64%. And for the first one, it's set to 55%. So you're getting slightly different swing between the different players. If you remember, the drums were set to 60%. Everyone's going to swing slightly differently. Okay, so let's have a quick listen to that. Okay, now the other thing I want to show you right here is on the drums. We're sending all of our drums and percussion through to a bus. And on my drums, I've got my Chroma Glow. Let's switch that in. I've done a video on the Chroma Glow. You really want to check that one out because this one is a real game changer in terms of adding additional harmonics to your sounds. Lovely. Now, they're going through to my drum bus, and on my drum bus, I've got the Waves NLS, which I've, again, I've done another video. Check these videos out because there's so much information there that is sure to help you when it comes to mixing and getting a nice tone on your productions. I've gone for the mic setting. I've just gone for preset mic zero one. Let's have a listen. Let's bypass these. You're feeling the weight being added 
by these plugins right here. And the last one I've added onto my chain is the, the API 2500. Let's have a quick listen to that now. Nice, nice, nice. Really bringing the drums to life now. Remember, you can check out all of these Waves plugins and try them out completely free of charge. I'll have links in the description for each and every one. Go there, download, try them out, see what you think. If they're gonna work for you, then take the next step. The other thing I've got going on right here is on bus one, I've set up a reverb and the reverb is this fantastic reverb right here, the Magma Springs. Let's have a listen to the piano going through this. On the drum bus, I've got a touch of the drums going through the Magma Springs as well. Let's have a listen. Okay, really bringing the whole production to life by adding these extra plugins. Okay, it's time now to lay down my organ. I've got the main keys down, which is my piano chops. Now it's time for the organ. And I've gone for one of Logic's standard software instrument plugins, and that's the Vintage B3, just down here. In terms of presets, you've got loads of presets to choose from, but a good starting point is the reggae organ, which sounds like this. So the piano is going to be playing this. Okay, so I'm gonna play right alongside it doing something like this. Okay, so let's put that one down. Okay, so our organ is down, our piano is down. And one question you might be thinking to yourself is, why has he not used the Logic Session keyboard player for this particular production? Well, the truth of the matter is the Logic Session keyboard player is not ready for this type of groove. As you know, I've done a number of videos highlighting the real power that lies within the session players, like the session keyboard player, session drummer, and the bass player. But for reggae, the programming is just not there. So we'll just have to continue to create our own grooves. And maybe later on, Apple might decide to include some virtual reggae style piano playing. But for now, we're gonna have to go without. Okay, so we're getting close to wrapping this up and now it's time for me to lay down some guitar chops. So what I've done is I've created a new audio track and I've gone for a guitar preset. Under guitar and bass, scroll along, then clean guitar and then dub wise. So at the moment I've got the pedal board plugin switched off and this is what our raw guitar sounds like. However, when I bring in the pedal board and on the pedal board, we've got two plugins. We've got the blue echo and the high drive. We get this. Now, the reason we're getting that timing is if we click here, you'll see the delay time is set to one quarter T, so that's why you're getting that shuffle.
Okay, so we've added the fundamental elements to this production so far. And of course, the last thing I wanna add is my baseline. And I don't want the video to run on for much longer. So what I'm gonna do is go away, do a few bits of editing, add some more effects, and maybe I'll add one or two bits of garnish just to sweeten things a little bit more. Then I'll come back and we'll play out with the baseline. Okay, so we're here and it's time to lay down the baseline. As you can see, I've added a few more things to the production. I did a little guitar lead line just to add something a bit more melodic to the piece. And I've added some horns using the Logic Studio horn suite. So what we've got here is my trombone, tenor sax right here, and I've got two trumpets. This one here with a staccato articulation and this one with a sustained articulation. Now my guitars are benefiting from the Waves CLA Guitars plugin. And on the mix bus, I'm using the Studio Verse Audio Effects plugin. Check out the video I've done on that. And the preset I'm using for this one is my Warm Fusion Master Bus preset. And this preset contains the following. The Aphex Vintage Oral Exciter signal then passes through the Abbey Road Vinyl. Then the J37 Reel to Reel, the Magma BB Tubes, then the Abbey Road Studios TG Mastering Chain, and then finally a bit of limiting using the L3 Ultra Maximizer. Use a link in the description to get access to this specific Studio Verse plugin chain. Anyway, let's wrap things up with the baseline. And as always, if you found value in the video, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. It's always great hearing from you. And remember, you can support me on Patreon as well. Links will be in the description to download the project, download and try out all of the effects that I've used in this production, and of course, to join my Patreon membership. Until next time, I'm Deuce, I'm out. Peace.